Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome back to Ruby, the show where by the end of each episode I have actually learned most of the names of the characters, only to then forget them again a week later. So, yes, <laughs> um, last time we had the formation of the teams, um, and you know, we obviously from the get-go you understand who's going to be in which team because the, it's, the show's called Ruby. So, there's a very strong emphasis on the four main characters. Um, so, I'm assuming from this point onwards, we're going to start seeing them, you know, develop their bonds and, I don't know, kind of just go on some adventures, some more monsters, um, and do general stuff like that, you know? Maybe? Yeah? Anyway, um, yeah, enough, enough chatting. I'm just going to start the episode and react. Yeah! Blah, blah, blah. And we're back with Weiss, I think, is it? I'm going to remember the names. It's my determination to remember the names by the end of the episode. Ruby. Yay. Weiss. Good morning, Team Ruby! What in the world is wrong with you? Now that you're awake, we can officially begin our first order of business. Excuse me? Decorating! What? We still have to... Uh, Blake. No, yeah, Blake. And Queen. And I can't remember. It's always the blonde one, I forget. Yang! Leader Ruby have begun their first mission. Bonsai! Bonsai! Blake's really taken to the group. I mean, at first she really didn't like anyone. Well, not that she didn't like anyone, she's just very offstandish. Okay. So they're decorating the room, and they're very uh, coordinated with their outfits. This isn't going to work. It is a bit cramped. Maybe we should ditch some of our stuff. Or we could ditch the beds and replace them with bunk beds. Um, that sounds incredibly <laughs> dangerous and super awesome. It does seem efficient. Why don't just have like one? We should put it to a vote. Just, just get like a big water bed and all stay in the same bed. <laughs> I've always wanted a waterbed. Although I get the feeling that I probably wouldn't be able to get out of it. Those beds do not look sturdy. Uh oh. Oh, they're late as well. Class. Monsters! Demons! Demons! Oh, what a mustache! Yes, the creatures of Grimm have many names, but I merely refer to them as prey. This guy's mustache is so epic, he doesn't need to open his eyes. He can just see with his mustache. And you shall too, upon graduating from this prestigious academy. Now, as I his mustache say, can feel the air and sense things around him. Three kingdoms are safe havens in an otherwise treacherous world. Our planet is absolutely teeming with creatures that would love nothing more than to tear you to pieces. And How did society ever become huntsmen, so advanced? Huntresses. If these monsters, like, you know, even if these most advanced weapons can't, they'd struggle to kill them. Themselves. From what you ask? Why, the very world. Hey, yeah. That is what you are training to become. But first, a story. A tale of a young, handsome man. Me! Me. When I was a he said it. He said it. Wow, that's some awesome writing there. Despite smelling of cabbages, my grandfather was a wise man. Peter, he told me. <laughs> I like how his voice is actually going blah 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 blah. In the end, the Beowulf was no match for my sheer tenacity. And I returned to my village with the... This is, um... Oh, what's his name? 
Gilderoy Lockhart. As a hero. The moral of the story? A true huntsman must be honorable. A true huntsman must be dependable. A true huntsman She really doesn't like Ruby. Strategic, well educated, and wise. So, who among you believes themselves to be the embodiment of these traits? I do, sir. <laughs> well then, let's find out. Step Let's have a battle in class. Yeah, this guy's definitely Lilderoy, Gilderoy Lockhart. Alright, let's release something into class that's potentially deadly against a novice. Fight well! Yeah, represent Team Ruby! Ruby, I'm trying to focus! Oh, sorry. Alright, let the match begin! Okay, he's got like a shotgun axe. I like that. Like, what happens if it just runs away? Hang in there, Weiss! Like, oh! I like it! Come on, Weiss! Show it who's plus! She's gonna distract her. Oh, now what will you do without Oh ho, you're going to die! What are you going to do now? I think this is how he powers his moustache. He sacrifices a student every lesson. Ooh, nice. And each sacrifice makes the moustache even more silky. It appears we are indeed in the presence of a true huntress in training. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> Be sure to cover the assigned readings and Oops. stay vigilant. I burped. Sorry. Class dismissed. Is she annoyed that Ruby Jeez, gave her advice? Weiss, what? What's wrong with you? Why are you being? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be a leader, and all you've been so far is a nuisance. What did I do? That's just everything. It. You've done nothing to earn your position. Back in the forest, you acted like a child, and you've only continued to do so. Place, where is this coming from? What happened to all the talk about working together? I thought you believed in acting as a team, not a team led by you. I've studied, burn, trained, and quite frankly, I deserve better. Ospin made a mistake. Mm, just when I was thinking that they were actually getting on. Hmm. Now that didn't seem to go very well. Is she right? Did you make a mistake? That remains to be seen. If you die, then it will be a mistake. Professor Port! Ah, Miss Cheney. And to what do I owe this fine pleasure? I... I enjoyed your lecture. Of course you did, child. You have the blood of a true huntress in you. You really think so? Most surely. Hmm. Something's troubling you. Yes, sir. Dear girl, confess to me your strife. Well, this I is the way some pornos leader, begin. Team Ruby. That's preposterous. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, it's only been one day. Ruby, I've made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. But at this moment, and yet your headmaster. I do not consider your appointment to leader to be one of them. Do you? It's not something you want to hear from your headmaster. I've made more mistakes than everyone else in the world. Years, and the man's never once led me astray. So you would just blindly accept his decision, even after seeing how exceptional I am? With all due respect, your exceptional skill on the battlefield is matched only by your poor attitude. How dare you! <laughs> My point exactly. I see a girl before me who has spent her entire life. She is a bit of a cow. Exactly what she wanted. That's not even remotely true. Well, not entirely true. Being a team leader isn't just a title you carry into battle, but a badge you wear constantly. If you are not always performing at your absolute best, then what reason do you give others to follow you? So the outcome did not fall in your favor. Do you really believe that acting in such a manner would cause those in power to reconsider their decision? So instead of fretting about what you don't have, savor what you do. 
hone your skills, perfect every You have a good sword. And be not the best leader, but the best person you can be. Inspirational, Gilderoy. You've been burdened with a daunting responsibility, Luffy. I advise you take some time to think about how you will uphold it. So she's going to mature. Vice is going to mature. And we're all going to live happily ever after. In those bunk beds that do not look like they're going to last. I was going to say, sometimes this is how a porno starts. Don't move. Here. That was quick. Thanks, Vice. Don't trust the coffee. Ruby, I think you have what it takes to be a good leader. Just know that I am going to be the best teammate you will ever have. Good luck studying. That's wrong, by the way. Huh. Hey, Ruby? Uh huh. I always wanted bug beds as a kid. Is she not in the same room? Where does she sleep? Okay, so, fairly short couple of uh, chapters this week. Um. So we're introduced to Professor Mustache, who has a complete disregard for safety in the classroom. Uh, that boar could have like literally just run out the door and just been gone. Um, but I guess you know you could argue that he is you know a hunter and it's a classroom full of trainee hunters, so they would have probably dealt with it. But still, it's not a, a great way to keep you know kids safe. Um, yeah, just a very little bit of bonding there, you know, sort of like building a relationship between uh, Ruby and Vice. Right, okay, so, Ruby, Vice, Blake, and Yang. Is it Yang or Yang? I think it's Yang. I think I've got them. I think that's the four. Um, I'm, I hope that's the four, anyway. I'm learning, folks. See, I do learn. It's not just that I forget every name I've ever seen, you know, although it is difficult when you watch this many TV shows to remember that many names. Especially in the early part. Um, yeah, so putting the building blocks down to give both Ruby and Vice a bit of an attitude change. Um, and basically just to give a bit of self-confidence to them. And it kind of worked, you know. It's going to be interesting to see where it goes from here because they're not really going to be tested, I suppose, till they're out on the field. And I'm kind of guessing this way the season's going to go is that they're going to struggle out in the field for a bit, they're going to face a challenge, and they're going to overcome that challenge, and then they're all going to be happy, and they're all going to live happily ever after. Until Volume 2. And then it starts again. I don't know what happens there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode, or these couple of episodes, couple of volumes, couple of chapters, whatever they're called. Whoop. I'm a bit hyperactive, and I don't know why. Uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. I will see you for the next video.